Hi, this is BB with the My Fish Count team. For this tutorial, we'll show you how to log a catch within the app. We're going to start by clicking on the icon to open the app, and it'll bring you to this dashboard. Then you're going to tap the bar that says Start a New Trip. If you've submitted a trip before, many of these fields will already be filled in. If this is the first time you're entering information, you will be entering uh, many of these fields for the first time. But we'll click on all these so that you can get familiar with them. So for trip name, we're going to type test for tutorial. And the next field, fishing platform, these are the platforms that you can select. And in an effort to show you how to use these features, we will be using the test platform. We encourage you to try this on your own app and test mode so you can familiarize yourself with it and then if we use the test the information will not be counted. Departure date, we're going to select the departure date there. If you are logging a trip that you've already taken you can go back and find that date. If you're logging a trip that you plan to take or creating that trip you can go ahead and set that up at a for a future date and for this one we're going to leave 4.15 2020 and then state the four states in the South Atlantic are listed here we're going to leave that selection as South Carolina and I'll click done the nearest city you can select the nearest city here we're going to go ahead and leave that as Charleston and then port type is the next field so you can select from these and for this test for the tutorial, we're going to select private marina. For logging mode, you can either log your catch for yourself as an individual mode, or you can tap the vessel, and that will allow you to log for everyone that is on the vessel. So for this, we will use the individual mode, and then we're going to move down to the target species. Our Fish group number one target species for this demonstration will be red snapper. So I'm going to select red snapper, hit done, and then I'll click on fish group two. And we will select grouper for that. I'll click done. And then fishing method, once we tap on that, it'll show you some choices. So we're going to select primarily bottom fishing and done. And then for our comments section, this is just if you want to keep track of some notes for yourself, you can enter your comments there. And then I'll click done. So this has set up our trip for us and everything is in there. We're going to go to the very bottom and click the submit button. This will actually create your trip in the system. Once your trip has been set up, you'll see this screen. And if you are if you've created a trip that you will plan to take later, then you can select that no, I will log it later. But for now, we're going to show you how to log a catch. So we're going to click yes, let's log a catch. It'll come up immediately with this screen to choose your species. And we're going to use a photo of a red snapper. So I'm going to tap the search bar and type in red snapper so that I can find that. And I'll select that, and that puts that in as a species. So for some species, there is a requirement to provide a photo. And not all species have that requirement, although we do really suggest for folks to submit photos. And if you're able to submit photos with a measuring device in the background, whether it's a fish ruler or a tape measure or something of standard measure like a drink can. So I will go ahead and upload a photo. If you tap on the camera itself, it'll come up with a choice of either taking a photo or using one that you have saved on your phone. So I'm going to go into my photo library and I'm going to select a fish from my photos. So here's the one that we're going to select and put in there. You can tap released if it was a released fish. If you keep the fish, you can change that to kept. 
For this one, we are going to select released and you can scroll down and enter the length on there according to the tape measure on the boat. That would be about 14 inches. The next field is the fork length or total length. And in this picture, it looks like the total length was measured. So I'm going to select total length there. For more information, you can check our website, myfishcount.com, on total length and fork length. The next spot is weight. We're going to put in five pounds there. Select done. And then the next field is mark location. If you are logging this after you've returned from being on the water, you can move the pin to where you actually caught the fish and drop it there to save that spot. Or if you are actually logging while you fish, which we appreciate, you can drop the pin where you caught the fish or you can select my location. And at that point, you don't have to make any changes. So once I select location, it's going to put me on land, which is where I am now. So I'm going to move this offshore. And I'll say this is uh, for this demonstration. This is where I caught this fish. Then I'll, if, I'll select done. Okay, so that puts in the latitude and longitude. The next field is depth fished, and we're going to say we were fishing 91 to 120 feet. Okay, moving down, we'll indicate that it was hooked at the jaw. We're going to select jaw for that. Hook type and gear, these are your choices for that field. We're going to select the non-offset circle hook. Under release information, you can select a treatment. The fish in this photo did not show any signs of barotrauma. So in this case, we would put not treated. If we did see signs indicating barotrauma, we could use a descending device to, to return that fish to depth. But for this one, I'm going to select not treated. And for release, reason, I'm going to say over bag limit for me. The next field would be catch date and angler. That's if you're logging on the day that you catch, you can use that. Otherwise, you can change that. And then angler is the person that is the app is registered to. So we'll leave that. And then any comments you may have. Test trip, done. So everything's entered on that catch. So I'm going to click submit at the bottom of the page and then it shows that that is your logged catch. So if, for example, you caught multiples of a species, so let's say the next five fish we caught were grouper, I would be able to use a quick log feature. If I only caught one grouper and then went back home, then I could use that log your catch button again at the center. But we're going to show you this quick log feature. So at the bottom left, you can see quick log. So I'm going to tap that and I'm going to choose. So for this sample, we're going to say we caught five gag grouper. This species will also ask you to submit a photo for the catch. But in this format, you can use the slider bars at the bottom to indicate how many you caught that were released and how many you caught and kept. And once you enter that and submit, it will ask for photos for each of those. So that's a quick way to log multiples of a species. I'm going to back out of there, should get back to our catch log screen. So for this example, we're just going to leave it at one red snapper that was released. We're going to go ahead and close out our trip. So the bottom right hand would be go to end. So if you put that bottom right hand corner, the red arrow, this will finish out my trip. Was this trip taken and completed? If you leave it at yes, you'll have to fill out these fields. If you tap the no, it will come up with a, a different set of fields with an abandon date. The reason, you can click on one of those if you had a reason to abandon your trip. 
I'm going to cancel out of that and we're going to change it. We're going to go back to go to end and I'm going to change it and keep it at yes, this trip was taken and completed. Okay, leave, leave that as the arrival date. The hours fished, we're going to say we fished for four hours. And were your fish sampled on return? If someone was at the dock and asked to look in the cooler and question me, I would say yes, my fish were sampled. If no one checks your catch, then we're going to leave that at no. The percent of time with hooks in the water, we'll say 61 to 70 percent. Again, we'll have the comments at the bottom. So once I have everything completed for my trip, I'm going to click the submit button. It'll ask if I'm sure because you won't be able to make any changes. Um, you can always reach out to us at the My Fish Count team down the road if you do have problems. But at this point, everything is looking good. So I'm going to select the yes. I'm ready to submit. This will send the trip data to the server. Once your information is received, then you will get back to this screen on your dashboard and you'll know that your information has been collected and you can start a new trip. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you've not done so, we invite you to download the app and start logging your catches. Don't forget to also follow My Fish Count on Facebook and Instagram. And remember, My Fish Count and so do yours. Thank you for using my fish count.